to see Scruffy TV. It's Scruffy Scruffy Judge. Woo! Scruffy Scruffy Judge. Woo! Scruffy Scruffy Judge. We're God's family. What are we? We're God's family. Who are we? We're God's family. Scruffy Judge TV! Welcome to Scruffy Church TV. Welcome to Bath. Yes, for Scruffy Church TV, a worship service for absolutely anyone and everyone. My name's Philip, I'm the vicar here in Bath. And Lizzie, my wife, is behind the camera. As you know, she would love to be on Scruffy TV, but she can't be on Scruffy TV because she's not scruffy enough. She's far too glam. But she's a glamour operator and a brilliant one. So we thank you, Lizzie, for operating the glamorer for us today. A lot of people have said, we'd like to see Glam Lizzie. Well, keep watching, that's all I can say. Today is the last Scruffy Church TV uh, for, um, well, for the summer. We'll see what happens in the autumn. But it's been great to share these 20 weeks together. And during the service today, we're going to be looking back at a few of the highlights of the of the different services that we've done and a couple of my favorite bits as well but i think i think overall my absolute favorite bits are the pictures and the videos that you send in to us and we've got a couple of new ones this week have a look at joa and mikey they're watching scruffy church tv they're loving scruffy church tv on their ipad there and andy thornton sent in a great picture of the lily prayer that we did last week. Thank you, Andy, and I'm glad that you like Scruffy Church TV as well. Here are some of the pictures and videos that you've been sending to us over the time Scruffy Church TV has been going. I'm gonna play some music on the top. Enjoy the pictures. <laughs> Great, thank you for sending in those to us. It's been wonderful looking at them and knowing that you're enjoying Scruffy Church TV and you're worshipping God together. Now, as you know, we need to get things for this week so that we all join in the service together. And we've got quite a few things this week. So let's have a look, shall we? First thing you need is a nice piece of paper and something to draw around. I drew around a saucer for that and then to cut it out. I don't want to do that on program itself so there we are you can, so we need that then you need a different colored piece of paper that's it there and then on that you get something circular round and then you draw around two round there and then three more like that okay and when you've done that you keep those two the same then you draw a triangle around that one a square around that one and a rectangle around that one and then you can cut them out with some nice safe scissors or get a grown up to do it. And I don't want to take up time showing you how I cut things out. So I've already done the, the, the circles on that side. I've already cut mine out there, but we'll need those for our prayers a bit later on. Put those back there. Uh, you need a pencil as well. This week's pencil of choice is an Eiffel Tower pencil. Now, the reason I chose this is because it's a left-handed pencil. So if you're using it in your left hand, you can read it. See, not many people know that. But we left-handers, we, <laughs> we keep an eye out for things like that. And some pens as well, some coloured pens or pencils to colour things in. And this week, we're going to be drawing and colouring in food. So that might affect what colours you choose. Look, these are our lilies from last week, reminding us that God looks on us with such joy as Jesus looked on the lilies. And we're going to pray 
as always, to start our service today. Ah, oh, so sit nice and comfortably, nice and still. Loving God, we thank you for Scruffy Church. We thank you that even though we're in so many different places, you bring us together by your spirit and by your love. Help us to worship you and to find out even more about how much you love us. In Jesus' name, amen. Great, let's sing Scruffy Church song together. Ah, look, oh look, look who's come to join us. It's India. <laughs> India loves Scruffy Church TV. We've got the guitar, we've got India, we've got the words, let's sing. Come on everybody, top of your voices. Sometime on a Sunday or any day I know where I'll be Watching my computer or iPad to see Scruffy TV It's Scruffy Scruffy Church Woo! Scruffy Scruffy Church Woo! Scruffy Scruffy Church We're God's family Now I wonder what will we do this week I'm sure it will be fun you and me and Jesus, so come on everyone, two, three, four, Scruffy Scruffy Church, woo, Scruffy Scruffy Church, woo, Scruffy Scruffy Church, woo, we're all family, you and you and me, you and you and me, you and you and me. We're God's family, what are we? We're God's family, who are we? We're God's family, Scruffy Church TV everybody! Scruffy Church TV, we love it. We love that song. And we love the stories on Scruffy Church TV. I've loved doing the stories. We've had so many different stories. Stories from the Old Testament, from the Hebrew Scriptures, the old stories of Jewish faith uh, that we tell as well and enjoy. And also stories about Jesus and stories that Jesus told. I love the fact that Jesus told so many stories and people really, really loved them. One of the things that we've really enjoyed on Scruffy Church TV is finding things around the uh, Scruffy Rectory in the, and in the garden to make stories out of. Do you remember last week we did the story of Zacchaeus? We found some old bits of wood. Look, there was Zacchaeus. And me and Glam Lizzie made this. Look, I love the fact that he starts off look, with happy faces, the crowd, and then they had sad faces or angry faces, and then they had the backs of their heads. I love that. Loved it. And this was Zacchaeus. So, Let's watch my favourite bit from the Zacchaeus story last week. Let's watch it. And this is what Zacchaeus saw. He looked down through the branches and saw Jesus. Hello, Jesus, said Jesus. Oh, it's Zacchaeus, isn't it? How did you know my name? Oh, well, I know you, Zacchaeus. Um, please, can I come to your house for tea? You certainly can, Jesus. And Jesus hopped along the road and they went to Zacchaeus' house. You can imagine what the people thought. Well, you know, why is he going to the house of a sinner? Oh, that ain't fair, that ain't fair. No, that really, really ain't fair. Jesus and Zacchaeus went to Zacchaeus' house and they had a lovely tea and they had such a lovely chat that they didn't realise it was getting very, very dark. Oh, look at that. The moon is out. And Zacchaeus lit a lamp. There we go. And Jesus and Zacchaeus sat down. And Jesus said, Peace be on this house. Zacchaeus, I love the way you look for me in the tree. And thank you for invit your invitation to tea. It was scrummy. And what I want to say to you is, if you listen to my words, you'll know that I bring peace. And if you follow me, Zacchaeus, I will bring peace to your life, 
to your home and to your town. So Zacchaeus, will you follow me? And Zacchaeus said, yes, Lord. Fantastic, said Jesus. Oh, is that the time? Lights out. Oh, I love that. Sometimes when we tell stories on Scruffy Church TV, we have some help from the Scruffy Church TV puppet theatre. Remember we did this story over here. Look at the, do you remember what this was? Clue there, a boat, some animals, a dove. It was the story of Noah. And that's right. And then we also did this story over here, the story of Jonah. So let's watch, there's Jonah there. Let's watch my favourite bit from the story of Jonah. And there he found a boat. Jonah stood next to the boat. Oh no, said Jonah the moaner. I bet this ship is all ready to go and there's no room for me. Hello, matey, said some sailors. You're just in time. We've got room for one more. Hop aboard. Oh, no, said Jonah the Mona. Wrong again. And the boat set sail. It was a calm sea to start with. But then suddenly the sky grew grey and lightning appeared. And again. And the sailors all came up to Jonah and said, Here, someone must have upset the gods. I wonder who that could be. Oh no, said Jonah the Mona and he was thrown into the sea. Jonah, the Mona, was in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> said Jonah, the Mona. What am I going to do now? Things couldn't get much worse. But suddenly, they did. <laughs> oh no, said Jonah the Mona. Oh, I love doing that. I love the bubbles in that. We've also done things in different rooms here in the Scruffy Rectory. Do you remember when we went into the kitchen? Do you remember what we made? Here's a reminder. It's, oh, look, it's starting, it's starting, look, if you look down there, it's starting to bubble, and it's starting to bubble there. Sometimes it bubbles up, so that it's one great, let's just turn it over one more time. There we go, oh, look, you can see the bubbles on that side, look. So, oh, there it goes, look, look. Come on, Chapati, bubble up. Whoa. Oh, a little trip to the kitchen to make some bread. We also went outside quite a few times. Do you remember way, way back at Easter? And if you're just joining Scruffy Church TV, you can go and all of these are available on our YouTube channel, so you can go and look at these. But at Easter, we had a little trip down to our chickens to see what they'd been laying. It's a lovely day today, and I'm excited about these eggs because they are pretty good at laying eggs in our heads. Right. Let's go and see if there are any eggs in here. Oh, look, there's Pip. Pip. Oh, excuse me, Pip. Can you just, can you just move a little bit? Oh, sorry. There we go. Let's just have a look. <gasps> there, look. <laughs> One of those eggs is Pip's. Thanks, Pip, very much. You can come back on your <laughs> nest now. I'm, so, I'm really sorry. You can get back on your nest now. I'll take that one away. Oh. Look, there's a Capri's cream egg there. Sorry, Pip. Really, really sorry. Have a great Easter and we'll see you soon on Scruffy TV. Apologies to Pip and lots of love to all of you. Bye. Oh, poor old Pip. I disturbed her on the nest. 
we'd put a Cadbury's cream in there, egg in there as a, as a sort of joke. But by the time we got down there, it was so hot that it had melted. So the joke was on us. I think my favourite stories that we've done have been with Aid and Grandpa. And I love the stories that we've tried to do in slightly different ways, but using different scenes. I think my favourite of all was the one we used rice. It was the feeding of the 5,000 and we used rice to represent the crowd of 5,000 people. So we're going to watch all of that story because it's got rice, it's got aid, it's got grandpa. Let's enjoy it. The story. As you know, Jesus, wherever he went, thousands of people used to gather around to hear him speak. They used to love him. They used to love the way that he told stories, that he told jokes, and that everybody would listen to the things he taught them and the things he did, because he healed people as well. That's why there were so many people. And one day, Jesus was visiting a town next to a big lake. And in, these are all the houses of the town. And in this house here was a girl called Joanna. So she was wearing red. So imagine now being inside the house and we need somebody in red to play Joanna. Hello, everybody. Hello, Adrian. How are you going to be the hero? You certainly are going to be the hero. What's my name? Joanna. Joanna? That's a girl's name. Yeah. And I'm going to be Joanna's mum. Oh, cool. So, Joanna was in the house with her mum. Mum, what is it, Joanna? And, and Jesus is coming to town. Yes, I know. It's very exciting. Can I go and hear him? Well, yes, you can. But Often it's quite a long time, so why don't you take some lunch with you? No, I'll be on all your... Joanna? Yes, ma'am. I want you to take some lunch. Oh, well, all right then. Now, do you want brown bread or white bread? Um, I have some brown bread, please. Right, thanks, ma'am. Joanna? Yes, ma'am. Would you like big fish or little fish? I like big fish. Right, I'm off now, Joanna. Yes, ma'am. Would you like brown fish or silver fish? Oh, I love silver fish, please. I'm going down on a Joanna. Yes, ma'am. Um, would you like a peach or an orange? I like an orange, please. Right, I'm off there now, Joanna. Yes, ma'am. Would you like it put in a bag or a basket? I like it in a basket, please. Right, here you go. Oh, thanks very much. I'm going now. Bye bye. Oh, bye, ma'am. Woohoo! And off went Joanna. So imagine, have a look at this. This is Joanna. And she's leaving the house to join the crowd of 5,000 people. Now, this is an idea I saw at an art exhibition about 10 years ago. I went to an exhibition by Stan's Cafe and they used grains of rice for people. So that's where I got the idea. So thank you very much, Stan's Cafe. Now look back here. These are 5,000 grains of rice. Right, don't worry, we're going to use these a bit later. I'm going to wash them and we'll use them in our supper. And Joanna ran all the way until she was right in the middle of the crowd. And there's Jesus. Look, that's grain of rice represents Jesus. And we've got a few of his disciples with him. And Jesus had been teaching all day and he was really, really tired. So he wanted to get away from where the crowd was. So he and his disciples got into a boat, <laughs> using the bowl as a boat, and they sailed across the lake to the other side, and out they got, and then they climbed up a hill. There we are, there's Jesus and his disciples. But, but they weren't alone, because the crowd decided to go with them. They walked, when Jesus was sailing, they walked right around the lake and they started to go towards where Jesus and the disciples were sitting up the hill. And they were so hungry by this stage that all you could hear was their stomachs rumbling. Let's hear the sound of stomachs. <laughs> Jesus heard the sound. <gasps> And he called one of his disciples, Philip. Huh. Yes, what is it, Jesus? Ha <laughs> ha, hello everybody. I'm a disciple today. Ha <laughs> ha, what, what, piff, piff, ha <laughs> ha. Now look, look I, I really need you to go and do something for me. Well, what is, well, look at all those people. <gasps> wow, I reckon there are 
5,000 people now. I reckon you're right, Philip. Now, they're all really hungry, yes? So I'd like you, yes, to go and get them some lunch. Oh, oh, well, I don't think I can do that. <sighs> all right, I tell you what. I'll count to 100, see if you can go and get the lunch by the time I go. No, 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 not that. I mean that I don't think there are any shops nearby, and I can't carry food for 5,000 people. There are far too many. Oh, got a good point there. Yes. Uh, so what do you reckon we'll do? Well, uh, uh, oh, actually, Jesus, look over there. And they looked over there, and in the middle of the crowd, who do you think they saw? But... There she is, Joanna, with her packed lunch. There. And Jesus said to Philip, can you go over and chat to Joanna? So off went the disciple Philip to talk to Joanna. Oh, um, hello, little girl. Hello there. Um, what's your name? My name's Joanna. Oh, well, hello, Joanna. Uh, now, I see you've got a very, very nice packed lunch there. Yes, yes, I have, actually. My mum did it for me. Well, that's very, very nice. Now, um, please, may I borrow it? Borrow it? Yes. Well, well, as you see, it's Jesus. He would like to borrow it. Jesus? That's right. Well, I tell you what, you can have my packed lunch on one condition. What's that? That I take it to Jesus myself. Oh, OK, let's go. And off they went. Here, let's have a look. Here we are, look. Here is Joanna going through the crowds <laughs> all the way to Jesus with the disciples there as well. And Jesus said, hello, Joanna. Oh, hello, Jesus. Thank you so much for lending us your lunch. Oh, that's all right. I'm going to use it to feed all of these people. Really? How are you going to do that? Well, I am Jesus. Oh, all right then. I trust you, Jesus. Thank you very much. And thank you for your lunch. That's all right. Shall we pray? That's a great idea. Loving God, thank you so much for this food, for these loaves and these fishes and the orange, which we're going to have for pudding. Please bless us and feed us in Jesus' name. Amen. And Jesus <laughs> broke the bread and he broke the fish and he gave it to his disciples. And look what happened. His disciples took it round to all the people. And as the people came round, they were given some bread and some fish. And later they were given some oranges. Although that's not mentioned in the Bible, but I think they must have had pudding. And everybody was chomping all at once. Let's make that noise of 5,000 people eating. And because of Joanna being so generous, everybody was fed that day. I love that story. I love it. God wants everybody to be fed. And God wants everybody in the world to be fed today to have enough food, to have enough water, to have shelter, and to have safety. But as we all know, not everybody in the world has got those things. And God calls us to share what we have so that everybody can eat. Or it's not fair. Oh, it's... I hope you didn't mind watching that again. That was my favorite story, I think, that we did. And so important how Jesus feeds us. And we're gonna be thinking about that in our prayers. A little bit later but this, this is time during the service we always sing a song we've sung loads of songs on scruffy church TV. look at these words of all the songs that we've been putting around there's some on the door there as well glenn lizzie <laughs> that's left over from two or three weeks ago and i'll say what song should we sing today and i i think in the middle of the service i've liked the songs that we've sung that have had actions and we've there's one we've done a couple of times one so big one so small our heavenly father cares for them all one so big one so small, our Heavenly Father cares. Let's sing that together. See if you can, even if you don't remember the words or know the words, see if you can join in with all the actions. Here we go, are you ready? Have you seen the pussycat sleeping by the fire? Have you heard a gentle purr? Have you seen the lioness stalking across the plain? Have you heard a terrible roar? Rawr! One so big, one so small. Our Heavenly Father cares for them all. One so big, 
One so small, our Heavenly Father cares. Get ready for a wobble. So you get nice and wobbly duck bottom. Here we go. Have you seen the little ducks playing on the farm? Have you seen them waddle all the day? Wank, wank. Have you seen a vulture sitting up a tree, waiting there to catch his prey? <laughs> One so big, one so small, our Heavenly Father cares for them all. One so big, one so small, our Heavenly Father cares. Okay, little bit of a jump, little bop, here we go, the last verse. Have you seen the children popping in the air? Have you heard them shout, hooray, hooray? Have you seen the grown-ups flopping in a chair? Saying what a terrible day, what a terrible day. <laughs> one so big, one so small, our Heavenly Father cares for the all. One so big, one so small, our Heavenly Father. One more time, really fast, here we go. One so big, one so small, our Heavenly Father cares for the all. One so big, one so small, our Heavenly Father cares. Sit down, brilliant. Well done, everybody. Well done. Lovely, I hope you enjoyed singing that again. We're in the prayer room now. Do you remember why we come into a different room to pray? Jesus says in the Bible, when you pray, go into your room and shut the door. And in Jesus' time, the only separate room in most people's houses was the store cupboard for food. So Jesus is saying, when you pray, it's like, it's like being fed, not with actual food, but praying, uh, talking to God, hearing God's voice, being in the quiet. That's like feeding us on the inside. Now, don't you remember we did one week we did uh, prayers using our hands. So we did Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. And other times we did look up these are the things from our other prayer times. Look, that lovely rainbow there was from the Noah service. And then we had this lovely making that cube with all the different things on it courage and love and peace and then this oh remember we prayed for people with of different faiths and particularly we're thinking today of muslims because it's eid festival at the moment that's a wonderful festival and then here is the satsuma of love from a fruit of the spirit tree so today we're thinking about being fed the feeding of the five thousand we saw and we think of prayer as being fed. So we're going to start off with something really easy. If you get your pencil and your round, you're going to draw your favourite dinner. So I'm just going to do it really, really roughly because we don't want to spend ages. You can stop the video and draw yours if you like. But there we go. Uh, let's start those. Mm -mm -mm. Now, I did think about what I was going to do here, but I couldn't resist. I have to be honest. <laughs> and one of my favourite dinners, if not my favourite, is sausages. And these are beans, baked beans, like a lovely orange pile of beans. And then here is an egg. Like that. And these, guess what these are? Chips. Sausage, egg, beans and chips. That's lovely. There are lots of other things we can enjoy, but I just thought I would do that today. So you draw your favourite dinner. If you need a bit more time, just stop the video. That's all I'm going to draw for there. And we're going to think about different ways that we are fed. So you can use your dinner there or you can turn it over and we need our shapes as well. So here we are. Let's put the square, I'm going to turn mine over. No, no, I'll do it on that side. Just put the square there and get a circle and we're going to put a circle behind it. Can you see what that is? That's a loaf of bread or a slice of bread. Thank you for reminding us, loving God, that you feed us 
And we want to pray for those who haven't got enough to eat, wherever they are in the world. And help us to do all we can to feed the hungry. Help us to care for all people. Now we're going to take the circle away and we're going to put in the triangle. We're going to think about our homes now. So whichever one, actually I'm going to use that one because our house here is quite long. There we go, that's, that's kind of like our house. So just think about our homes. Thank you, loving God, for the shelter and the love of our homes. And we pray for those who don't have anywhere to sleep. And we pray for those who have had to leave their homes and travel to different countries, refugees. And we pray for those and we thank you for our families and for all that keeps us safe. That we're fed with being at home. And the next one we're going to do, we're going to have... Now you could actually take your pencil at this point and just put, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it, turn it over like that, draw a cross on there, two lines like that. Can you see what that is? It's a book. It's the Bible. Thank you, loving God, for the Bible, for all the stories in there. And all the ways in the Bible you tell us you love us and you love the world. And we thank you for all the stories we've heard on Scruffy Church TV and all the different places that we've been in your world. We thank you. Help us always to read and enjoy your stories in the Bible. Now, keep that on there. I'm going to put that there. And then we're going to make a church now. So you can make any kind of church you like out of these. But that's a bit like the church we've got here in Bath. A bit. That's our church. So we thank you, loving God, for churches. And we pray that they may always be a place of prayer and of praise and of peace. And pray that we may always leave church looking for how we can love in the world, how we can bring your love into the world. Feeding not just our bodies, but our spirits as well. So if you take your two pieces of paper, on one I'd like you to draw somebody from your family. There you are, that's it's a bit like glam, is he? There we go. There we go. And then on the other one, a friend. There you go. Somebody from your family and a friend. Thank you for these people that feed us with friendship and with love. And we pray for those who the we know who need our prayers at the moment. We're going to pray for Sue, who's going to have an operation soon. And for Ellie and baby Isabel, as they recover from being in hospital. And we're going to remember Dave and Natalia, because they're sad at the moment. So just have a think, who are you going to pray for today? Now the last one we're going to pray. Turn those two over like that. Take your triangle. We're going to put that now. It's not a brilliant heart, but it's not bad. That's a heart to thank you for your Holy Spirit living in us, breathing in us, feeding us with your love and your goodness. Help us to overflow with your love into the world as we follow you and as you help us to be fully ourselves. Thank you for your love, because we know if we look at our Easter candle, that love always wins. Now we're going to use the words. I wrote these words 20 weeks ago on a piece of card. Let's pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Right, we're going to sing. Now, again, I could have chosen so many songs. We're actually going to sing a new one. Well, it's an old song, but it's got a brand new verse. A verse for Scruffy Church TV. So, Glam Lizzie, the words are over there. So when we get to it, just if you just go down, this is the new verse written on orange there. And it's the same tune as Shine Jesus Shine, but they're slightly different words for Scruffy Church TV. Okay, let's sing this together. Shine Jesus Shine, fill this land with the Father's glory. Play Spirit, blaze, set our hearts on. Upon us, set us free by the truth you now bring us. Shine on me, shine on me. Chorus, here we go. Shine, Jesus, shine. Fill this land with the Father's glory. Play, Spirit, play. Set our hearts on fire. family worship you through the scruffy tv thank you for the love that is in it in our homes we're united in spirit shine on us shine on last time together shine jesus shine fill this land with the father's glory praise spirit praise on fire, flow, river flow, flood the nations with grace and mercy, send forth your word, Lord, and let there be light. Love that song, and I hope you enjoyed the brand new verse sung for the first time ever in the history of the world. So we're reaching the end of our service now. So um, remember just some of the things we've been thankful for all the way through the 20 weeks of Scruffy Church. Remember, we've always been thankful for the NHS and for all the people who've been helping us through the pandemic and will carry on helping us as well. So let's all let's remember to be thankful for them and all the people, people in schools, people in shops, people who care and look after us. And there's been me and there's been Glam Lizzie, but there's also been Andrew Avramenko, who is part of our team here in Bath. And we're really thankful to him. So let's go over to Andrew so that he can give us a final wave. Here we go, Andrew. Andrew? Andrew, where are you? Thank you, Andrew, for all you've done on Scruffy Church TV. And thank you to Glam Lizzie, who's been a great glamour op operator. Thank you, Glam Lizzie. A final blessing for us now. Put your hand up to the screen. That's it. Loving God, thank you for all that we've shared on Scruffy Church TV. Thank you that we've learnt how much you love us. And we pray that we may show your love, live your love in the world, and may your peace be in our hearts and homes. Amen. 
at the end of Scruffy Church TV today. We're going to have a different finish than we normally do. We're going to see some of the bits and pieces we've used in Scruffy Church TV over the weeks and the song. You can sing the song or just look at the pictures. Here we go. Sometime on a Sunday or any day I know where I'll be Watching my computer or iPad to see Scruffy TV It's Scruffy Scruffy Church Woo! Scruffy Scruffy Church Woo! Scruffy Scruffy Church Woo! We're all family What will we do this week? I'm sure it will be fun with you and me and Jesus. So come on everyone. Two, three, four. Scruffy, scruffy church. Woo! Scruffy, scruffy church. Woo! Scruffy, scruffy church. Woo! We're all family. What are we? We're all family. We're all family. Scruffy Church TV, everybody! And Glam Lizzie. Bless you.